Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Academy. Today we'll talk about how Mildred Howard debuts her first NFT collection. Let's head into it. The Crypt Studios, the Web3 production house that partners with brands and creators to curate NFT and metaverse activations, is pleased to announce a new NFT collaboration with celebrated artist, sculptor, and designer Mildred Howard. The collection, titled Millennials and XYZ, features a series of images depicting the silhouettes of African American youth. Howard's first ever NFT collection will drop on OpenSea on Monday, February 28th auction, the final day of Black History Month, with a concluding Monday, March 7th. Howard grew up in Berkeley, California. The daughter of prominent civil rights, she has long been an advocate for social justice, both through her art and in personal life. Her work on the Millennials and XYZ collection began five years ago and was spurred by the killings of young black men, such as Trayvon Martin and Michael Brown. To better understand the lives of African American youth and how they were affected by these tragedies, Howard set out to learn more directly from young black men and women in her community and wanted to talk with these young people about their lives, to capture them in the way they look and dress, to hear their opinion about what life was like for them, Howard said. Most of the young people I spoke with were brilliant human beings, trying to navigate their way through this maze and society that we live in today. They happen to be people of color, but there's only one race, the human race. By using her art as a way to view the world and address issues like social justice, Howard hopes to inspire a new generation to dream up new ideas. She believes NFTs add a new dimension to the art market and another way to get her work in front of different audiences. As an artist, you're constantly trying to learn and improve what you do, exploring new avenues helps in my growth as an artist. It's an ongoing exploration of ideas and creative ways of thinking, making, and doing. I am interested in pushing the boundaries. Millennials and XYZ selling now on OpenSea. Right now, here at the Museum of Glass, I'm working on a series of punctuation marks and editing marks. To view and bid on pieces from Mildred Howard's new NFT collection, Millennials and XYZ, visit OpenSea or Decrypt Studios' website. About Mildred Howard. I really feel that I'm no different from any other person in the world who is trying to make a difference. Howard's work has been shown at the Dion Museum, SF MoMA, and the Museum of the African Diaspora, among many others. She's a recipient of the Lee Krasner Lifetime Achievement Award, two Rockefeller Fellowships, the Joan Mitchell Award, an NEA Fellowship in Sculpture, and a Flintridge Foundation Award for Visual Arts. The daughter of prominent California civil rights, she was raised in tradition of equal rights, labor, and humanitarian movements. About Decrypt Studios Decrypt Studios is a new breed artist production studio dedicated to bringing designers and thinkers to the metaverse. We demystify digital assets in virtual worlds, providing tools to help creatives reach audiences in completely new ways. With roots in Ethereum, access to the latest technologies through the Mesh Venture Group, and a finger on the pulse of the crypto and blockchain worlds through Decrypt Media. Decrypt Studios is the premier Web3 studio creating unique projects and activations in the metaverse and across all new technological platforms. How artists and collectors can increase adoption of art NFTs. NFTs are the newest technology dominating today's conversation, and crypto art has caught the attention of artists, curators, and enthusiasts alike. We've seen digital artist Pac's recent drop become the largest sale by a living artist, and PFPs of Bored Apes selling $400,000. We've seen it draw younger participants to the space, like 17 year old artist and NFT curator Diana Sinclair, and we've seen the possibilities blockchain based art can promise in income streams and future royalties. We've seen NFTs already shift the art world towards a more innovative and accessible future. But with a sudden spike in interest and usage, there's still plenty of confusion about what NFTs actually are. Are they useful? Are they a fad? Are they for me? The longer NFTs remain a confusing or foreign topic to both artists and collectors, the more stagnation we'll see in the adoption and acceleration of this new technological innovation that holds so much promise and opportunity. Here's a few of the challenges to adoption as I see them, and my suggestions for what the industry can do to overcome them. What's holding artists back? In order for there to be NFTs for collectors to purchase, they need to be created. But there are challenges holding back artists from fully engaging in the space. 
Challenge number one, not knowing where to start. While artists may see crypto art as an intriguing idea, many are at a loss for where to begin, unsure of what non-fungible tokens are in the first place, how they can mint one, if they can really make money through the practice, and whether it's the best path for their career. For example, in our recent report on making a living as an artist, 35% of artists surveyed don't know what an NFT is, yet said that they'd be interested in creating an NFT if they had access to resources to help them understand the technology. It may seem simple, but an increase in artist education is the first step. There certainly is a learning curve to getting set up on the blockchain, but getting more artists knowledgeable on the basics of crypto will accelerate adoption and get more high-quality NFTs out there in the world. Resources for artists should also aim to help them understand where NFTs are situated within the greater context of the art market and how producing art NFTs can help further their career goals. Challenge number two, not knowing which platform to choose. Another challenge is the sheer number of platforms selling art NFTs. Some are open platforms that allow anyone to contribute, while others are more exclusive. Some have more leverage and credibility in the NFT collector space. Some offer gasless minting, but at the cost of discoverability. With so many options, it's hard to know where to start or which platform will be the most beneficial for an individual artist. It may take time for the players committed to building the industry to show their staying power, but in the meantime, artists can look for platforms that are committed to fostering their career and the NFT space. We've worked to become a platform that's open to artists, is highly curated, and has a long collector base. Artists should look for platforms doing the same as the industry evolves. What do you think about artists selling their art as NFTs? Tell us in the comments. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.